Every dog has his day. Okay, okay, I'm reloaded! <laughs> Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! We a nation of Raiders! It's a nation of Raiders! Welcome to a new day, step up in the Oracle! Silver and black, you know we so historic! Many backbreakers, many chain treasures! The other teams only wish they could measure! Hello and welcome to another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torgerson, and joining us today is Jaron Mas... Is it Mastrude? Mastrude, yeah. I'll make sure I pronounce it there right. You go. You got it. Uh, Jaron is number 85. He's a tight end. This is his fourth year in the NFL, first year with the Raiders. Jaron actually attended high school at Southridge in Beaverton, Oregon, and later went on to attend Kansas State. Jaron, what was your major when you attended Kansas State? Business administration with an emphasis in management. And what were you hoping to obtain with that degree? As it like job wise or yeah. career wise after yeah. that? Uh, I mean, ultimately, I wanted to be a CEO of a Fortune 500 company. Nice. Um, haven't had the opportunity to apply my degree really in the business world. I uh, hope I don't have to, and you know, for another little while. A long so while, right? yeah, a long while, yeah. so I can, you know, keep playing. But um, I just feel like I'm business minded naturally, and would do a good job at that. So going back to high school, how did you balance sports and academics? Well, my parents are both teachers, so at a young age they kind of let us know, me and my brother and sister, you know, the importance of academics and learning and, you know, focus on school. So when I was a kid, they put that on me, and then I just kind of put it upon myself, like, hey, you know, I take pride in my grades, you know, I get a paper with my name on it, I want a good grade to be on it. I don't want it to say, you know, Jerry Master F or D, you know, I want to say A. So. Um, I just made sure I got all my work done and, you know, uh, if my work wasn't done, then I wasn't practicing. Right. Now, as far as um, exercise and staying in shape, what are some of your favorite exercises, maybe on a daily level, that you like to, to do? Uh, I mean, it depends on what time of year. You know, if I'm just getting back into things from the off season, I like to do a lot of circuit training, um, you know, get the heart rate up, uh, you know, aerobic level, and, you know, get your uh, muscular endurance up. So. You know, maybe go from push-ups to sit-ups and to, you know, doing short sprints, you know, things with short bursts, short intervals, but, you know, back to back to back to back to back and then start over at the first one and go through it all again and try to do it, you know, faster. Um, just to, you know, get back in the swing of things. But I've been a big guy on cleans. I always like doing the uh, clean lift. Oh, really? So that's my favorite one, I guess. Nice. Yeah. And as far as um, diet. So what are some, do you have any nutritional advice maybe for students? Stay healthy and eat healthy and clean. Uh, shoot, don't be afraid of your vegetables. Uh, those are better for you than I thought. Um, you know, fr fruits and vegetables and, uh, you know, lean meats. Um, don't ever skip breakfast. You know, that can just ruin your day totally. Yeah. Uh, make sure you get a good meal you need to start with and uh, continue to eat throughout the day. You know, don't let yourself, you know, wait till you're just starving, stomach grumbling, you know, I understand, you know, there's times where I've you know, not had food around or, you know, just haven't had time to get the meal, but make sure you get a snack, get a bar, get a, you know, a little shake, something to, you know, keep your body fueled, give you the energy, you know, for your mind and, you know, for your workouts. Good. Yeah. So what do you do as far as injury prevention? Injury prevention, I do a lot of stretching, um, make sure I get my sleep, you know, let your body recover, stay rested. Don't do a bunch of crazy stuff off the field. Um, I got my own little uh, machine I use at home to you know, help stimulate my muscles and whatnot. Really? So uh, I do that, do a little exercise with that. Get in the training room even when you don't need it. Uh, you know, little massages and stuff like that to, you know, maybe the littlest things coming on, but a little thing can become a big thing quick with the amount of, you know, pressure you're putting on your body on a daily basis. So just stay on top of things. Now, as far as students who uh, want to go to college, maybe obtain a degree or become an athlete like you, do you have advice for them how to stay on track? Uh, well, first it starts with school. You know, you're not going to a college. You're not going to get a scholarship if you can't get into the college academically. So, like I said, there's another thing my dad put on me. You know, hey, you're not, you're not just going to play sports and go to college. Like you got to have grades. You got to, you know, get a score on the ACT, SAT. 
you know, to be accepted to that school in the first place. And then once you get to that school, you have to maintain grades or else you're going to be ineligible and you can't play anyway. So uh, I think a lot of kids, there's a lot of talented people out there in the world that mess up along one of those ways at a young, young age. And I just don't feel like they got that advice at a young age. And if they would have had that, they could have been at this level, you know, and it was all about just, hey, if I had the grades, I could have been playing. And if I was playing, I'm good enough to make it to the next level. So did you ever encounter any peer pressure or bullying in school? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot of times where, for, you know, friends of mine or people I knew, you know, I'll start with that, you know, they were friends of mine until I realized, like, you know, they're not really my friends if they're trying to pull me in directions that aren't good for me. You know, there's what I want to do, what they want me to do, what I need to do, what they want me to do, you know, what I needed to do, like I said, was you know, work out, get good grades, stay focused, because there's not a lot of people that make it to this level. There's not a lot of people that make it to college, there's not a lot of people from college that make it to this level. So uh, if you want to be one of those people, then you got to put in the time, make the sacrifices, and not be out all night, you know, hanging with the wrong crowd. Uh, it, that can be difficult, but just to have someone guiding you or just find some of the people that, you know, even if it's one person that's okay. making the right decisions or decisions that you want to make, stick with them. Now, did you have a mentor growing up or someone that you looked up to for advice? Uh, I mean, my dad was, I mean, both my parents were there for me, so I'm grateful for that. Uh, there's a lot of people these days that only have one parent or maybe no parents, and, you know, that's tough. Uh, my dad taught at the high school and was my head coach, so the head coach or the strength coach at some schools for a football player can be a mentor type person, and he was that for a lot of people, you know, and me. Um, and he just, like I said, just you know, had me on top of school things, taught me to just play hard, you know, football or whatever sport I was playing at the time, basketball, baseball, you know, just give it your all, you know, don't don't put a bad effort out there, you know, if you're gonna be out there, play hard. So that was something. You know. Good. So if you could give a student some advice, uh, words of wisdom of your own, what would you say to them? Uh, about anything. Just, just, just chase their dreams or yeah you know what have you learned what have you learned along the way you know chase your dreams I mean I wasn't drafted I was I had no stars coming out of high school recruiting wise um, you know a lot of people didn't you know think I could play you know my dad believed in me obviously it was my dad but it's also my coach too you know I believed in myself and I'd say just believe in yourself and you know believe you know you're your best asset so uh, follow your dreams, stay true to yourself, believe in yourself, and know that what you put your mind to, you can honestly get done. Seek out that help that you need. It's one of the hardest things to ask for, but sometimes you need help. And as prideful as you can be, and I got a lot of pride, sometimes you need some help, sometimes you need some assistance. Find that out there, because it's out there for you. Um, if you're not, don't be ashamed of it. Just go out there and get the help you need to get where you want to go and, and follow those goals. Now, would you mind explaining to us what your job is on the field so we know clearly? What a tight end does? Yep. A tight end, you know, in my opinion, or a lot of people that know football, you know, it's one of the most versatile players on the field. Uh, you got to be able to catch the ball, you know, run routes like a receiver, but at the same time, you got to be able to block like a lineman uh, in the pass game and the run game. Mm -hmm. So, uh, whether it's blocking a defensive end, outside linebacker, inside linebacker, a safety, you got to be able to block all those people, you know, set an edge in the run game. Uh, move people off the line, protect them, protect them, you know, protect the quarterback. Um, and sometimes, you know, you're in the backfield like a running back, you know, uh, or a fullback, pass blocking back there or leading through a hole. Uh, tight ends need to be, you know, highly intelligent because it's like a, you know, you're moving all over the field. It's not like a lineman where you're always at left guard or left tackle. Like you could be on the right, left, in the wing, in the backfield, out wide, in the slot. So you got to be on top of things and know what everyone else is doing to help you, you know, your own job. Jaren, thank you so much. Thanks for taking time with us. It was nice to meet you. Nice to meet you guys as well. This has been another edition of the Inbounds with the Oakland Raiders. I'm Melinda Torveson. We'll see you next time.